determination, self-belief, uh, hunger, fire in his belly that he hasn't achieved what he knows he could do and, and wants to do. Um, and I don't think he wanted to do anything else. Uh, that was his life and he wanted to prove everyone wrong. The mental side of it is probably the biggest thing. Uh, you know, you're pushing through barriers, pushing too hard, too quick to get back on the physically fit to ride a motorbike. And there you are, just pushing your send where normal people would, you know, the move, the break, the shoulder, the move it, it hurts, the stop moving it. And we, you know, you, you're there and you keep pushing, you're pushing more and more. The length of time it took the second time was the hard bit. And obviously I was up to 30 operations by the end of it, which is tough to deal with. And some of the, the operations I had were massive and really knocked me. And um, I was quite ill from them. And, but I think because I did come back that first time and finished third in Macau, it gave myself a little spark of belief again and, you know, it all felt like it was meant to be when I was riding and, like, the old magic was there, really, and I just thought, yeah, it hasn't gone anywhere, I can still do it, and with time, no matter what happens, I'll still be able to do it. What I see in my practice, if patients are highly dedicated to be successful or to succeed in, in the treatment, there is very likely that they will. This is coming to the end of uh, August again the, in 2013 and I started talking to Sean again about doing Macau again and that being my comeback and you know Sh Sean had stayed with me through all this and I'd messed him about a lot, I'd said that I'd be fit to ride when I originally signed for him for 2011. 